So here we have a Malachite DSP2 SDR. Uh, just received it yesterday. So this is the what seems to be the latest uh, Chinese version. So this is a Chinese copy, of course, not the original one. Uh, it's a DSP2. It's got the latest firmware. I mean, not the latest, in fact, but it's got pretty recent firmware 2.30. Let's power it up. Uh, so I already configured it a little bit. When we go here, we can see firmware 2.30 test. What I wanted to do today is uh, upgrade it to the latest uh, 2.40 firmware. Uh, that one just got released for this. Uh, it should add FT8 decoding and all that stuff that I really, I really would like to, to try this. So let's see what we can do. All right, so on the computer, we got the the original uh, official manual here. Um, I look for update. Sorry, update. Instructions for DSP two and three. So this is the link in the manual. Let's have a look. So we got the radio, we got the computer. So this this one is actually Type C, not micro USB. So the radio is charged up, not fully, but close to 3.75 volts. Um, so I already downloaded and installed this. So I, I think it's ready. Yeah, the link is right here, so we can go here. And uh, we got different versions here. So my computer is uh, 64 bits, so it's one of these two, the latest one, this one. So I downloaded this one and I already installed it. So it's just a matter of uh, extracting the file. You get this executable in there you can start it. And um, well, just follow the, 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 the setup here. So it says it's already installed, so of course I'm not going to do it again but just next, next, and uh, just check, accept when it needs to be checked, and yeah. Okay, so that's done. Now, I for the firmware for this radio, you need to get uh, not the original one, but uh, there's a link on the on Facebook group. Let me show you this. So, uh, we got this here. Uh, it says firmware 2.40 beta with new decoders for RTTY and FT8. So this one is a uh, M2 Chinese DSP2 and uh, we need this firmware here. So we got a link, um, we got a link here. So I'm gonna put this link in the description below. So I downloaded the whole folder here, doing um, here and download. So we can only get the firmware, which is in the SP2 firmware, M2 Chinese, and these two files. I think we only need the first one, but uh, I got boot. So the files are in my folder here. Software, uh, sorry, not software. In fact, the SP2 firmware, and I extracted this. So we get that file here, extracted, and there it is. Okay, so we got the firmware, software is installed, and the radio is charged up. Let's continue. Turn off the radio. All right, let's start by doing that. So I hold the power button. All good. So it's shut down. Uh, okay, so we're going to plug it in. Good. Press the frequency and sound encoder buttons and hold them. Press the power button, release the encoder buttons. Okay. So both. And the power button. Did I get this right? Oh yeah. Looks like I did. It just showed up uh, as a uh, I don't know, DFU something. 
it should blink and sure enough we don't we can't exactly see this but it is blinking uh, it's kind of yellow and green or something it says red and green so I guess yeah red plus green does yellow um, so sure first time for me to upgrade that so I'm not exactly sure I'm just following the tutorial I'm not gonna cancel it yeah so it says we should have Malachi receiver DFU so we're gonna go to peripheral manager and uh, I don't know where yeah it's right here okay perfect So we're going to launch STM right here. Select the USB device type in the top right menu of the program. Click the connect button. Okay. USB, I guess. So if I do connect, oh yeah, it's connected. All right, that's good. So I need to go to erasing and programming tab, which is here. Select the firmware file. Bin file here. Uh, set the options to verify programming and run so verify programming and run so we need to click on start programming let's just make sure we got we go here firmware here this and then start programming well just want to make sure I'm making no mistake file do not complete okay let's do it then I'm not gonna touch the radio. Wanted to see the light just blinking the same as before. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. Okay, it's done erasing. Now there's a progress bar. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video here and uh, come back when it's done. All right, so it's near the end of the download uh, bar. So I assume after this it's still gonna verify. So probably another progress bar again. Let's see what's up. Okay, no, actually it does not. Uh, yeah, it does, it does. Okay, so it shows this and then it goes to verify. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run too. All right, so almost done. So after this I should be able to use the radio. Hopefully, it's good. Now it's stuck at 100%. What's going on? It's okay, done. Wow, that took some time. Uh, was a bit worried here. So it seems like it's done. And looks like it's still, it's not flashing anymore. It just turned red again. Red's for charging, so it is really over. Okay, let's close this. Uh, and oh, it's just started. And uh, well, it did not ask for a code or anything. Looks like it's good. And it says now, as we can see here, it says firmware 240 beta. So the update went well. Um, looks like it reset all my settings here. Uh, so we can, we're gonna unplug this. Plug the antenna in. Oh, didn't mean that. Okay, I'm gonna plug that in. Okay, so now we are back with a completely clean firmware, um, factory settings. So I'm gonna go through my own configuration really quickly here. Um, so I, I like to enable NCO. Let me explain really quickly what that is. 
so first, without NCO enabled like this, the default configuration, if we rotate the frequency knob here, the VFO, we're gonna see we are scrolling through the frequencies and the receiver stays centered, almost centered. In fact, it's slightly to the left. There's a reason for that. Um, now, if we go to NCO enabled, the VFO here is gonna move on the screen. It's not gonna stay at the same position. And when we reach the edges, then it's gonna start scrolling. I think this is nicer because we can have a clear look at the waterfall and then tune something uh, if we see a signal we want to hear, we, we want to listen to, we can just tune this signal in particular. This is AM by the way, but all right. Only problem is if you want to listen to an AM station uh, that is right at the center of the screen, for example, right here, it is going to be distorted. This is written in the manual and it's just the way the radio is. So when using NCO, you can listen to AM broadcast stations, but not on the center of the screen. This is why when you disable NCO, it is not exactly centered, it is slightly to the side. But anyway, I'm going to en enable NCO right now. Uh, let's go and lower the, the beep level, because I think it's uh, really loud. So I'm setting it to 3. And here I'm going to set this to SNR, so it shows SNR here instead of just the DBM. Uh, let's go through the rest quickly here, nothing to change on audio. On visual here I'm going to lower the screen brightness to the minimum and disable this so it does not uh, go down when I don't use... actually I'm gonna... yeah I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Uh, so here I like to enable the grid FFT fill, so it just looks like this. The FFT right here is uh, fully filled with yellow. We can change that, by the way. Um, here, we can change it from yellow to green, red, blue, or white. I'm gonna set it to yellow. And I like to set the percentage to 40, so it gives more room for the waterfall. Uh, so WF delay here, um, when set to the zero, it's uh, the slowest waterfall, so I like to keep it as slow as possible here. Uh, actually, no, the opposite, I mean as fast as possible. So to zero, it's, it's really fast. And if we crank it up to like, I don't know, let's say four, it's going to be pretty slow. So I like to keep it fast. Uh, then we are gonna go to waterfall gain. I like to bring the gain up a bit to like 8. That should be okay. So we see the signals better. Like we can clearly see some signals here. And when it was at 0, it was barely visible. So 8 seems fine to me here. I might change that later. And the scale, I, the scale, the scale, yeah, lowers it, I guess. What does the scale do again? Let me see, crank it up to the max, we'll see what it does. Ah yeah, it just lowers the, um, it's a zoom pretty much, okay. So I'm gonna leave it at like 60, should be fine. Maybe going down a little bit, 40? 40 might be a bit much, we'll see. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit later. Something else, I think the background is too bright, so I'm gonna move actually from auto here to... Yeah, 3dB, maybe 2 actually. That seems perfect, at least for this frequency here. Um, okay, so that's done. Now let's have a look at uh, FT8 decoding, so if we go to mode here, there are indeed FT8 and RTTY showing up here. So that's pretty interesting. Before we only had CW. And by the way, I tried CW before and I couldn't really get it to decode much. It decoded one signal. I even tried it on the beacons on uh, Q100, which are really, really high in SNR and it couldn't even decode anything. So 
I'm not too sure how to set it up. I tried everything, but well. All right, let's try FT8. Hopefully this one works better, but I tried it before and it wasn't too convincing to be honest. So for FT8, we need to be on USB. We are gonna go to a frequency for FT8 first. So let's go on uh, 40 meters. That would be 7074 kilohertz. Now we're gonna go to FT8 here. Let's crank up the volume. See if we get anything. Something to note for FT8, by the way, the time should be set perfectly down to one second. Uh, so let's have a look on my phone on uh, time.is see if the time is set correctly which it should because I took care of that before and it is pretty good I think we can probably do a little bit better so long pressing on the radio button here shows settings for time and then we can use the volume knob so I'm gonna go to 27 here and I'm gonna try to set it just at the right time there we go I think it's pretty good already worked so I think it was okay before so here we can see first signal here has been decoded it's from Indonesia with minus 4 SNR so it works but that said I'm pretty sure there are a whole lot of signals right now and it does not seem to decode much maybe that signal was the highest one and uh, this is the only one that got decoded so right there YG9 ECT calling CQ at 0 SNR so I think that's pretty much what I said only the Higher SNR signals get decoded here, so it's not too great, to be honest. Now we can do something else. We can connect this to the computer using the USB cable. And that way, we will be able to try this on WSJTX to do a comparison, to see how much more signals uh, WSJTX can pull using the same radio. Before plugging it in, I need to shut it down. Now we plug it in. And we power it up again. That way, Windows is going to install all the drivers for it. Alright, let's go to the computer now. We are going to go to Device Manager here. And let's see what we have. So COM5 here, this one is the Malachite. And if we go to the sound cards, we can see three sound cards here. So Malachite headphones is just a speaker from the radio we can use to play audio through the radio from the computer. And we get IQ and we get RX. So RX is the audio from the radio. We can use this in WSJTX. So let's have a look. Let's head right to WSJTX and configure it. So now we are in WSJTX. So let's have a look at the configuration. So we go to radio here and in the in rig, we can select, uh, we can in fact select Malachite. Malachite DSP here. Uh, so the baud rate is uh, set to 57600 here everything else on default uh, we can leave PTT to Vox we're not gonna use PTT here anyway mode is USB uh, we need to set it to COM5 of course so let's test CAD it does not work for some reason let's have a look at the device manager again We indeed have COM5 here, and if we have a closer look, it is at 90, okay. So that should be at 56, 57, 600, I think, as far as I remember. That's pretty weird. 
Let's try that again. And yeah, this time it's working. Okay. I don't know, that's uh, kind of surprising. I don't know why I had to do this. But we have cat control now. And as you can see on the Malachite now, we are at the frequency set on the computer. And if I switch to 40 meters, for example, here, it just does switch to 40. Perfect. Okay. Now there's something we didn't set. It's the sound card, so we have to set the sound card here to Malachite RX and the output, I'm just gonna set it to Malachite headphone, it's fine. I'm not gonna transmit anyway, so we should not hear anything from the radio. And something to note, by the way, is if we are, if we set, for example, Windows here to uh, Malachite headphone, we can have sound output, but if we lower the volume here, it doesn't change anything. The volume level on the radio stays the same, and even on the radio itself, if I set the volume completely down to zero, it's still the same. So there is really no direct way to control the volume of the radio for the entire system here, for, for Windows, but we can set the volume in specific applications. For example, if you use um, SDR console and output the sound from SDR console to the Malachite, you can lower the sound directly from SDR console and it will lower the sound on the radio. So I'm just going to set it to 100% but it's not going to change anything. And back to my sound card. Okay. So as we can see here, and by the way, what's going on? Why did we just lose audio here? We lost audio because I lowered this, the volume on the Malachite. So we need to put the volume to an acceptable level. So I'm going to cut the sound here headphones only and, and I'm gonna put the volume to let's say 70 sounds about right here we got a good level and we are decoding a whole lot of signals here now we are at the exact same uh, frequency on the radio and on the computer so we should have the same uh, signals being decoded on the radio here and on the computer so if we have a close look here at what we got, by the way, if we click on uh, the S meter logo here, little s here, it is going to clean this completely, erase all the spots. Uh, so we start at zero right now. And as we can see, we have uh, ZS2SG from South Africa here showing up at plus 12 dB on the computer and right here only at negative six coding cq just like here and next uh, slot here we have three people coding cq at negative five negative eight and negative 12 and these people are not showing up on the malachite and once again negative nine snr plus 11 on the computer so i'm not exactly sure what's going on here it's a bit surprising. We have an SNR of uh, 28 and when it drops it's down to 8. So the SNR should be good here and it's not. So it's kind of surprising. Plus we are only seeing one guy here and on the computer we have a whole lot of signals being decoded. Now we also have ZS3LB at negative 13 and uh, He's actually answering to JA8. So it's a uh, plus six here. So I don't really understand how that works. But well, it decodes some signals, so it means the time is probably set properly. So there is this button here, Cal FT8, but I'm not going to touch it because uh, when you press it, Actually, let, let's do it and I'm going to recalibrate the time after. So if we have a closer look here at the time, when we click Cal FT8, what it does, it, it jumps the time up. So I did not see any explanation in the manual how we use this. See, it's ju it jumps the time again. So I'm not really sure how that works. Now if we have a look at the time, on my phone it's just not set properly anymore it's completely off 
So yeah. Anyway, we just had a quick look at the FT8 functionality here. I'm not gonna go through RTTY because I'm not exactly sure how to set it up. Uh, maybe later. But at least we were able to compare FT8 on the radio and in WSJTX. So we need to remember again that this is a beta firmware as it says here so it is not surprising that everything does not work perfectly so hopefully with some updates we are gonna see a much uh, improved FT8 reception at least I really hope so because the radio seems to have the capability to decode FT8 just properly but it's not doing it correctly at the moment anyway I'm gonna end this here so 73